welcome to Learn Create Sew. Today, we're going to learn how to single crochet back loop only. I've already started a swatch with single crochet and I'm ready to start a new row. When a stitch is created, it makes this V shape. The loop that is closest to you in the V is the front loop. The loop that is farther away from you is the back loop. Normally, when we do a crochet stitch, we'll go under both sides of the V to make the stitch. In front loop or back loop only, you only go under one side. So for back loop only stitches, you enter through the center of the V and go only through the back loop. For front loop only stitches, you enter through the front loop only and exit out the center of the V. You can use back loop or front loop only on any type of stitch. It can be used with single crochet, half double, double or treble stitches. And when you crochet back loop or front loop only, it creates ridges in your pattern. So let's go ahead and get started on this next row. I'm doing single crochet, so I've made a turning chain of one. So when I do my first stitch, I am not going to enter with this stitch here. I'm gonna go into the second V and I'm going to stitch back loop only. So I'm gonna enter into the center of the V push my hook through the back loop only, and then complete a regular single crochet. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two. And then I'm gonna mark my first stitch. And then I'm gonna go into the next stitch. I'm going back loop only, so I'm gonna enter through the center of the V, poke my hook through just the back loop, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two. Enter the center of the V, go through the back loop only, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two. Enter through the center of the stitch, back loop only, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two. And I'm gonna continue that to the end of the row. And I've been marking my stitches, so my last stitch right here has my marker. Back loop only, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two. So I've completed the row. My swatch has 10 stitches, so I'm gonna have 10 stitches in each row. Turning chain of one, and turn your work. When you turn the work, the front loop is now the loop closest to you. The back loop is again, the loop farther away from you. So when you stitch back loop only, you're always going into the side of the V that is farthest away from you. So I'm not gonna go into my turning chain. I'm gonna go into the second V from the hook. So my turning chain's a little small there, but there it is. So I'm going into the second V. I'm gonna go into the center of the V under only the back loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two. And then I'm gonna mark my first stitch. This will let me know where to stop next time. And then I just keep following this pattern. Single crochet as you would normally, but when you start your stitch, only go under the back loop of the V. Now 
If you continue the back loop only process, you'll notice that your crochet has raised ridges on both sides. I hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, have fun crocheting!